Hold on. Pause. We have content. Hold on. It's content time. Chat. It's content time. Here it is. Our first patch notes of Overwatch 2. Enable quick play open queue. I think that's mostly to, to get people to realize that having open queue with the current tank uh, tanks is just a terrible idea. Made adjustments to the kill feed and activity feed UI. I wonder if they changed the way headshots look because people complain about that a lot. Uh, the wrecking ball bug. Oh yeah, if you guys didn't see this, so wrecking ball literally was like breaking the game. They had to, they had to, they had to patch them out for a little bit. Like Doomfist, fix a bug where melee attacks would not deal damage if Doomfist was during power block. Fix a bug where Roadhog's hook cooldown would start on return instead of cast. I noticed that because it was a few times I started uh, a hook and I got stunned and I got my hook back. Um, fix a, a bug where soldier's heavy pulse rifle might snap awkwardly during the tactical visor. I had that. Um, Hanzo White Wolf skid would appear invisible. Might have done that. Sojourn. We saw a lot of players at varying skill levels struggling to land shots with their alt fire. So we're making her projectile wider width. Sojourn is all about mobility and we wanted her to move around the map more freely. We think this will increase her effectiveness and make her more fun to play. Projectile width increased from 0.05 meters to 0.1. They doubled her hitbox size for her railgun. Holy shit. And then the cooldowns from 7 to 6 seconds. Yeah, uh, I'm just telling you right now, Sojourn's going to be absolutely OP. So Sojourn is going to be so good with, with, with good players. Like, good mechanical players are about to dominate on Sojourn. Get, get ready for that. Uh, Soldier 76. Uh, heavy pulse damage. Uh, damage increase or de reduced from 20 to 18. That's a pretty sizable nerf. Holy f Movement speed reduced from 50 to 40. Tactical visor now allows for critical hits if a shot would have been a critical hit without it running. No longer removes damage fall off for the heavy pulse rifle. Wait, so you can headshot with visor now? <laughs> that is something. We believe Soldier 76 was overtuned during the first week of the PvP beta. Uh, he was extremely mobile with a new damage passive that increased movement speed by 10%. We brought his sprint ability down a bit with his new passive in mind. Okay, makes sense. Soldier 76 has always been a high damage output hero, but we're seeing fewer counters to him with one less tank per team. We lowered the damage of his heavy pulse rifle to fit with 5v5. We wanted to make Tactical Visor a more interesting ultimate for players who want to push their aim skills through the ability. The point of this change isn't purely to buff him or to counterbalance to the nerfs. We wanted to make Soldier 76, 76 more fun to play while rewarding mechanical skill. That's a big W. That's a massive W. Sombra. After a week of testing the new pa damage passive, we decided Sombra's balance, uh, Sombra's stealth speed. Wait. After testing the new damage passive, we decided to balance Sombra's stealth speed with a 10% movement speed increase in mind. So her movement speed reduced from 65 to 50. So she's slower now. Roadhog. Uh oh, I, I always get scared of robot bugs. Sorry, Roadhog buffs. We saw Roadhog was underperforming, so we were making his ultimate more interesting, effective, and fun. Roadhog was dying frequently while using Whole Hog, so we were trying to give him more options and flexibility in his ult. What? This ability has changed from a channeled ultimate, e.g. Reaper, Farrah, Cassidy, into a transform ultimate, Soldier, Genji, Winston. This is what it means. The weapon no longer automatically fires, and you must Press primary fire to use the ultimate. You can use normal abilities during whole hog without canceling the ultimate. Stuns no longer cancel the ultimate. Winston, um, secondary fire ammo reduced from 12 to 20 to 12. Huge. That is a great Winston change. Dude, they are actually kind of knocking. I'm not going to lie to you. They're kind of knocking out of the park with these changes right now. These are actually really good changes. Uh, the change to Winston secondary fire enables him... It's used more often while sacrificing much of his primary fire. We want his secondary fire to feel less restrictive and use it as more fluid like his kit. Wrecking Ball. Knockback increased by... Th okay, I take it back. Uh, people are going to get real mad at this. I'm just telling you right now. With less CCs in the game, you're not going to have fun with this. Uh, just, I promise you. Um, Zarya. There are less counters as Graviton Surge with one less tank. Okay, I don't know if that's really a good idea, but I guess. So maybe Zarya was dominating. Duration reduced from 4 to 3.5 seconds. Okay, cool with that. Uh, to grab lasts a half, a half a second longer or less slight nerf not a big deal lucio wait what self-healing penalty increased from 30 percent to 60 percent lucio had incredible survivability with crossfade stacked with his new support roll passive so we reduced the amount of it heals it himself wow that's pretty punishing 30 percent to 60 that is very pun punishing for lucio holy f baptiste is underperforming because in teams aren't playing as grouped up right now true increasing his healing ammo will let him let him heal more targets who aren't necessarily grouped up Healing ammo increased from 10 to 13. Okay, I'm actually open to that. Uh, a BAP did need a little bit of help. Uh, Anna's biotic name was too effective with one less tank and more infrequent barriers, so we're reducing the duration of the ability? 
We saw Anna, Anna using her grenade less frequently on herself because of the new support pass ability. To help compensate for her grenade, we wanted to give her power back through her biotics rifle ammo. Whoa, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty sizable buff. Ammo increased from 12 to 15. Duration reduced from four to three. So tanks aren't going to be anti all the time. That's insane. Hold on, what? Zenyatta has trouble fighting on the closed flags. And so he's at a disadvantage. If the enemy flanked or jumped on top of him, his new passive snap kick will help him create... Sp Wait, what? Snap kick. New passive ability. Increases quick melee damage by 50% and significantly increases his knockback. Yo, does he f***ing boo people now? Dude, are we going to be getting... This is Sparta kicks from Zen now? We think this pass will be a fun adjustment to his kit. We also want the change to acknowledge the community concerns. We understand 5v5 has made support heroes feel more vulnerable. And we want to give Sinyana some tools to help create space between him and his enemies. Uh, Brig buff. Uh-oh. Uh, it's, it's difficult to tell when Brig lands a shield bash because the impact of that ability was not easily noticeable. This is a subtle change that will make the ability feel more satisfying. Knockback doubled. I didn't even know it did knockback. All right, let's go test these changes. Let's go test. So, uh, let's see what this looks like. Give me, give me a, give me a soldier. This is Sparta! No shot! He went so far! I did not expect him to go that far! Woo! Holy f Good shit, dude! You can you can get back the bum! Nah, dude, that uh, dude, you could be boot people off the Yaria! Holy shit, that is literally the best boop in the game! Hold on, let's see from the other direction. Let's see how far it goes. Oh my god! How is that okay? What the sh dude? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That is an insane kick! Can you kick people back to back too? Like, how much does it stack? Oh my god, every kick counts. So, like, it doesn't even have, like, a cooldown. Like, if people get near you, if people are jumping you... Dude, you, you would just go fucking crazy. You know what? Actually, hang on. This is the important question. Winston. Winston. How much is Winston? Oh my Jesus Christ. A glimpse of mastery. Um, that might be a little too strong. I'm gonna be honest with you. That. Oh, I've got you in my sights. So if you hit, if you hit them with a headshot, while you're if you aim over them while visoring, you get the headshot. Holy shit! New kill icon for headshots. Oh yeah, true. New headshot icon. Look at the top right. Ooh, that's kind of clean. Like, that's kind of clean. All right, so apparently you can cancel a whole hog. All right, let's see how that looks. Wait. Oh my god. What? So if you need to stop using a whole hog. Wait a minute, that is a massive hog change. Like, hog ult doesn't put you in a bad spot anymore. I'm gonna hook something, hold on, give me a second. Okay. See how you use hog, hog ult? What did I just do to that ride? All right, let's do that again. All right, we're gonna pop whole hog. Hook. That is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. So Brig apparently got a small change to her. She got like a small knockback. What the fuck? That's like literally a boop. Anna got changes. Uh, she got her, she has 15 ammo now, which really ups her, 
uh, uptime of healing and doing damage. Nade is a little bit shorter. Still pretty long, though. So, I mean, it's still very effective. Uh, Baptiste got more ammo. He's got 13 day, shots now. Another battlefield. And... Sombra's slightly slower now in Viz. In my world, yeah, this feels pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, this feels... Sombra was like a fucking speed demon. Oh, Sojourn changes. You're right, Sojourn changes. We're in this together. Six second cooldown. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda nuts. So how forgiving is it now? Wasn't too bad. Double kill. Okay. and ready to fire. Not your finest hour. I'm trying to see like if it's like pretty forgiving, but it doesn't it seem to be doesn't seem to be like that forgiving. Doesn't get better than that. Maybe a little bit more slightly. I remember it was kind of difficult to hit sometimes on like squishies, but one more just like right slightly over his head I'm just getting I think I think I, I think honestly that'll end up being a big change can you compare Lucio's boop versus Zen's kick I, mean, I can try to do that really really quick sure this beat back off okay so a good boop will definitely go further with Lucio too close Standard boop. Definitely goes further. But Zen is still pretty strong. True self is without form. Wait, it's actually both the same. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's actually the same. Wait a minute. Wait. That uh, takes a team to tango. Be dropped. You get lost. A good boop is definitely still further. But I know like an average boop Too close. is like pretty much the same. That's actually kind of nuts. Retro, hold on. Retro, hold on. Pause. I need you on pause for a second before this goes into the footage. I, I must test this last part. There's... That is... Holy fucking shit. A perfect boop is slightly further. That... Dude. I know, I know I'm making you do a lot of work. I'm sorry. But look at this. Zen kicks as far as Lucio boops. That is actually nuts! Okay, that is nuts. I'm sorry, uh, you know, I'm sorry. All right, that's all your changes for uh, this first massive and actually overall, in my opinion, really good first balance patch for the Overwatch 2 beta.